Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to Commando Frog Troops uh, Kopaska This video was suggested by uh, Duki Termakase Thank you very much for taking the time To send me a recommendation and uh, suggestion The video is by Ganza Channel And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to check it out So inshallah we'll get started with the video In just a couple of uh, seconds At the end of the video I'll share with you guys My observation and uh, reaction So if you want to see that Then please stay until uh, the end of uh, the videos and for those of you who are new i upload videos uh, daily so please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when i uh, upload a new video with that said now let's get started they're called the from true Kopaska. Commando Frog Troop, or better known as Kopaska, is the special forces of the Indonesian Navy. The motto of this corps is Than Hanawana Tansurna, which means there are no insurmountable obstacles. This corps was officially founded on March 31, 1962 by the then president of Indonesia, Soekarno, wow. to assist him in the Irian Jaya issue. Currently, Kopaska is divided into three commandos, Fleet I Frog Troop Command Unit in Padalhut, North Jakarta, Fleet II Frog Troop Command Unit in Surabaya, and Fleet Frog Troop Jakarta Surabaya and Surong. The special force has actually been around since 1954. Sure. The father of Kopaska's sailor captain Eskak, from the Naval Frogman School at the Surabaya Naval Base. The main tasks of those troops are, underwater detonation, demolition, including sabotage, covert assault of enemy ships, and sabotage of enemy bases, soulless torpedoes, kamikaze, destruction of underwater installations, wow. reconnaissance, preparation of landing beaches, for larger amphibious operations, and down sea. at sea, maritime counter-terrorism, if not being assigned to an operation, the detachment team of PASCA can be assigned to become VIP personal bodyguards, such as the President and Vice President wow. of Indonesia. Be cool. Whole PASCA's education begins with indoctrination and exceptional physical training to achieve specialized skills in diving and underwater combat. Underwater combat? What? 1.5 months ended with Hell Week which was very draining of mind and energy, because the students, both officers, non-commissioned officers and enlisted men, were pushed out regardless of rank, caste, according to special forces standards. They are always surprised by sudden and unexpected activities, such as sea swimming in the dark of the night, rubber boat gymnastics, and rowing. Students sometimes only take a short nap and then 10 minutes, then have been told to do obstacle courses, push-ups and pull-ups, or beaten by instructors and coaches to train mentally, as well as oral examinations. Wow. A theory that has been Pretty intense. It just proves that a person can think tenfold. Ten minutes of sleep. Under physical and mental stress. The challenge is how to be able to think like that consciously, and not recklessly, because that is the essence of a special force, which can complete its mission quickly thoroughly and neatly. Wow. The next phase is class coaching for 2.5 months plus a month of practice. The theory obtained includes beach reconnaissance, demolition and sabotage. The Kopaska education training area in this phase is around the coast of the Grezik region, or the beach in the marine puslet for Karantakok Sachumdo area. However, despite class coaching, students are still required to run and swim both in pools and in the sea. The next stage is the command education material. It is at this stage that the prospective frogmen are faced with the material of ground warfare and unconventional warfare on several submaterials, namely forest war, close range war, navigation, sea and jungle survival. Jungle Being survival. Introduction of various firearms, wow. climbing assault, mountaineering. Combat Sir and Combat Intelligence and Barehanded Martial Arts. The Frog Troop in each action is sometimes in teams, but they are also trained individually, for sabotage and infiltration that cannot be carried out in a team. 
looking at the history of the founding of Frogmen in the Old Order era, where the recruitment of Frogmen from the Rip could to be used as living torpedoes. To destroy Dutch warships, trainers from Copasses participated in monitoring at this stage, to maintain the quality wow. of education. This commando, the Copasca Education Command material was carried out for four months, with compaction and adjustment of the material according to the needs of the Education Office. In this phase, there is material escaping in prisoner camp, seer, which really forged the mentality of this would-be frogman, because it is very violent and merciless. Oh. If you do not have the mental steel, physical torture relentlessly from the trainer, who acts as an enemy when students are caught. Graduating from the command phase, Kolpaska students are then sent to para school to learn the basics of military wow. parachuting. The final stage of Kopaska's education is the Underwater Demolition Team, UDT, Underwater Destruction Education. This is the specialty and hallmark of fragment around the world. Techniques for demining, coastal patrol, pilot swimming, deep sea diving, scuba closed circuit diving, sabotage of enemy ships with sole torpedoes, and submarine raids are wow. studied here. Operations that have been carried out by Copasca, among others, carry out various special operations, intelligence, Indonesian National Army and Indonesian Navy. Carry out the Scrap the Plow Special Operation. Carry out the Lusitania Xpeso Special Operation. Indonesian Marine Anti-Piracy Unit. Hunt for pirates in the Malacca Strait, Sunda Strait, Bangka Balatung. Pirates hunt in Eastern Indonesia. VIP and VIP Security, Non-Aligned Summit, Bali Democracy Forum, etc. Security Block Ambalat Ambalat, Karan Anarang. Safeguarding Vital Objects Offshore Oil Rig. Latma Malindo Malaysia and Indonesia, Exercise with Pascal TLDM, in Maritime Interdiction wow. Operation. Latma Pandu Odex with Republic of Singapore, Navy Naval Diving Unit, RSNNDU. Alternating Singapore and Indonesia. Latma Minix with the Republic of Singapore Navy. Latma Sea Eagle with the Republic of Singapore Navy. Latma Max Dive X with the Naval Art Team from 25 Asia oh, Pacific please. countries in Asia Pacific. Latma Flash Iron Silex with U.S. Navy Seal U.S. Navy. Latma Balance Iron with U.S. Army Airborne and Ranger U.S. Army. Various series of USPACOM training programs, naval engagement activity, NAE, subject matter expert exchange, SME, peace support initiative operation, POI, etc. Various UN peacekeeping operation training series, Conquest, Mongolia, Gerudo Shield, Indonesia, Cobra Gold, Thailand USPACOM, USPACOM Global Positive Operation Initiative, POI, UNMOC, UNSOC, Soy Holy. Trainer, taught. ADF Warfare Center UNMUC and SIMUC, Australia, UNCOITS STAT in Jakarta. Various UN missions, UNMO, UNOMIC. Darfur, Sudan, Darfur, South Sudan, wow. Sudan, UNMIS, South Sudan, UNMIB, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Lebanon, Congo. Congo, UN staff, Lebanon, Congo, UN contingent, Indomakbat, Lebanon, Forest Protection Koi, Lebanon, Ankoi, Congo. Mission of the Red and White Task Force in Somalia to release MV Sinar Kudasar missions, Silk Air, Air Asia, Tsunami. Wow. wow, I'm not sure these guys are, I guess, probably the best of the best. They call the frogmen. Makes sense to me now because they do a lot of uh, activities in the water, like they said, you know, basically. Uh, you know, looking after or destroying uh, submarines and boats and, you know, um, basically trying to protect the coast of Indonesia. And at the same time, if they're not doing that, they're protecting VIPs like the president, the vice president. Um, and they do training with uh, Malaysia as well as uh, Singapore and 25 other uh, uh, Asian uh, countries. And they've been in a lot of different operations they said in Iraq, Sudan, South uh, Sudan, Darfur, Congo. And, uh, you know, they also do search and rescue. Which, um, they uh, mentioned the Aceh tsunami and a couple of 
other ones so these guys are pretty busy and at one point i think they said that they basically keep them pretty busy and intense and they only get like 10 minutes of a break and then the trainer wakes them up and gets them to do push-ups and other activities and uh, if they get caught they're beaten up or tortured to some extent uh, because the trainer acts like the enemy which is pretty crazy but i guess it makes sense right when you have to protect the country you have to make sure you're on top of your game or if you're trying to protect the president or vice president of a country you have to make sure that uh, you know you're physically mentally spiritually strong and capable of doing the uh, job so pretty interesting guys i enjoyed it thank you very much for suggesting it i hope you guys did too if you did then please don't forget to like comment and uh, share and also please consider subscribing that'll allow me to improve uh, the channel so as always guys thank you very much Your for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family so i'll see you guys in the next video take care